What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today we're going to be talking about a new toy that I just got. This right here is my new inflatable paddleboard setup. It is a boat rackum and uh, I'm super excited about it. I've been wanting to get a paddleboard for the longest time just because they're so versatile. There's so many different things that you can do with them. You can obviously just go paddleboarding but this one has the ability to be a fishing machine. Um, I'm going to be using it as a layout boat for duck hunting. There's so many different things I want to do with this thing. So today we're going to set it up. We're going to take a look at it, uh, talk about some of its features, and then I'm going to take it out and do a little bit of fishing. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. So everything that's right here next to me is a full kit that you can buy right off of the boat website and I just got the whole thing. Um, it's got a, not just a paddle board, but it's got a seat so you can use it like a kayak. Um, it has a, a cooler, this is a roto molded cooler. Um, and then it has uh, this rack, it has a rack system. You can get different kinds of racks. They have this one and they also have like a, like a grab bar. Um, that has some rod holders on it but this one pairs up with this cooler um, and then the coolest thing about this i don't know where else you can find an inflatable paddleboard that actually has the ability to be used with a pedal drive so this is going to allow me to to be hands-free while i'm moving um, it has a steering system included um, and so that means i can fish um, and i can pedal and move around easily so this thing is just going to be super versatile and i'm super excited about it so Let's get it out of the bag and um, take a look at what we got. So one of the things I really liked about this paddleboard is I've already set it up once before. Um, and as you can see, I left all of these accessories attached. Um, these right here are the rack mounting points. Up front, we have a paddle holder. Uh, we've got this uh, clear port right here. That's where the pedal drive goes in. Um, and this is the sand spear anchor point. All of those things, I left them attached and I rolled it up. So you don't have to reattach them every single time that you use it. The board does come with a pump. And I will say that this is an incredibly efficient hand pump, but it is still uh, a lot of work to pump it up using this pump. So I think probably the first thing that I'm gonna uh, get um, is, is an electric pump. And I think I actually have one from like sleeping, like air mattresses um, that'll probably work. Um, I think it'd be a good idea to pump it up with the electric and then finish it off with this so you get the right PSI. So I'm gonna pump this thing up. It's gonna take a while, give me a sec. One thing worth mentioning before I get this thing fully pumped up, see it's still pretty soft. If you're gonna get this model, this uh, port that goes in right here, where you put your um, uh, your pedal drive, uh, you wanna make sure you put it in before you pump it all the way up because there's some uh, some little G hooks that you hook in to the, I guess the hull, the main board. Um, and it's incredibly difficult to do while it's already pumped up. So you wanna make sure you Put it on first and then pump it and it'll really lock that thing in place. So 
is just the first compartment. This is the main compartment. Um, there's another air compartment up at the top. Um, that's really important because uh, having a dual compartment means that if you do puncture it while you're on the water, you're not gonna sink, um, at least not right away anyway. So um, I'm gonna pump up the top part. You can see this top is still floppy. So I'm gonna pump that up and that won't take as long because it's a much smaller compartment. All right, we're done. I just learned a valuable lesson. If you're gonna pump it up, if you're gonna store it with the valves locked open, make sure you close them before you start pumping. Because I just finished pumping and then I pulled the hose off and all the air came out immediately, so I had to start over. Lesson learned. So before I start putting all the accessories on there, let's talk a little bit about some of the features in just the board itself uh, that I really like. Um, you know, like I mentioned, the first thing is that there are two compartments. So there's this top part and the bottom part, and that means that you have that safety. If, if you puncture it, uh, you're not going to sink right away. You have another uh, compartment that's going to keep you afloat. So that's really important. Um, and uh, the other thing I really like is, is actually how durable this thing is. You might think like an inflatable paddleboard is going to be super lightweight and kind of dinky. That, I mean, that might be the case for some of the other ones. I haven't really tried any of the other ones. But in this case, it's definitely not. Um, you can tell right here, this, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but this is um, kind of loose, the side here. That's because there's an extra ply of material over it. So you've got the main compartments, and then you've got um, this piece that goes along the edge here. And that's great because if you rub up against something when you're paddling or you bump into some rocks or something like that, that ply is going to protect uh, the main wall of those compartments and stop them from actually leaking. Um, so it's actually incredibly durable. I mean, the material that it's made of is, is really solid. Um, I really don't know much about it, but I can tell you this much. You can tell, like, there's multiple plies to it, um, and it's really heavy-duty material. Now, that does make this board um, a lot heavier than I would have expected. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I can look at the website and, and see how much it weighs, uh, but I, I guess in my mind, I was thinking, inflatable paddleboard, it's going to be lightweight, I can carry it around. Um, it's still pretty heavy, but the advantage of this, obviously, is I can fold this thing up and I can stick it into my storage unit, because um, I live in a tiny little apartment, I don't have space for, for all this stuff. Um, so that's, you know, obviously a, a huge plus for me. Um, some of the things that come with it, uh, like I mentioned, there's a, a paddle holder up there. Um, I'll show you how that works. So let's just pretend this is a full paddle and you just slip that in there and it holds your paddle right right in front of you so the handle is up right in front of you and you can grab it and start paddling really easily. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Um, then these mounts right here, these are the uh, for the, the rack system. Now there's a few different rack systems you can get and you can set them up in different ways. Um, but these are removable, you can just pull them off. Um, and, you know, you can decide to use them or not. If you just want to use it simply as a paddleboard, you're not going to need them. You want a nice flat space, that's all good. Uh, personally, I'm probably going to use them like all the time because most of the time I'm out there with gear, fishing, doing stuff. Um, so, that's cool. It's got these bungees on the front and the back so you can attach gear. Um, I'll probably be using a dry bag, which I'll have, um, you know, bungeed underneath there uh, with some of my gear in case I got to get in there. Let's get into the accessories. I think that pretty much covers the board. Um, I will mention there are attachment points all over the place um, for for attaching ratchet straps or, or attaching any kind of accessories that you want on the board. Um, there's also these straps right here for uh, storing your sand spear which I'll grab in a second and show you guys um, and then there's handles all over the place there's a handle here there's a handle in the front and in the back so uh, you can carry it solo if you need to um, or you can uh, you know you can get a friend and carry the front and the back together all right so here is the sand spear that I was talking about it's a point on one side on the other side it's it's basically a mini push pole you could absolutely use this as a small push pole 
to push yourself um, in the shallows. Um, but really what it's designed for, as the name implies, it's a spear um, and you use it to anchor yourself. So on this side right here, there's this anchor point and you simply slip it in, stab it into the ground and it anchors you wherever you are. Now you can put that on either side. Um, I put it on the left side because I like to fish off the right. So that way this pole won't be in my way when I'm fishing. And then when you're not using it, you can simply lay it down and strap it with these Velcro straps. It stays out of the way. <clears throat> As with everything else on this board, the seat is inflatable to maximize storability. But luckily this won't take very long to pump up. And I'm also not going to 15 PSI. I'm just gonna, you know, barely, barely pump it up. Um, in fact, I'll let a little bit of air out and yeah, maybe a little bit more. I can always let air out when I'm on the water. So that's the backrest. Flip it over. Works like most uh, kayak seats do. Um, it has little straps to attach it to different locations. So there's these uh, little anchor points right here, and it attaches with G hooks, and it's fully adjustable. We put that right there, and then attach the front right here. So this works like most uh, kayak seats do. Um, it has little straps to attach it to different locations. So there's these uh, little anchor points right here, and it attaches with G hooks, and it's fully adjustable. We put that right there, and then attach the front right here. Okay, so, and you can kind of tighten it up, position it however you like. I don't really know where I want it yet. I might have to move it back. Kind of depends on uh, the length of your legs and, and the pedal drive. So we'll just leave it right there for now. Then we've got our rack system. It just slips right into those mounts right there. And right on top of that, we can set a cooler. Just like that. And obviously this rack system has rod holders so you can put your rods in there. We've got our paddle. Like so. Now it does come with this fin is the standard fin. Um, this is more of a like paddleboard, like surfing type fin. It's pretty big. It's going to give you a lot of control if you're standing on it. Um, but the pedal drive system comes with a smaller fin uh, since it has a movable fin that comes off the back of the boat. So I'm not going to use this one, but you get that one with the, the boat, even if you don't get the pedal drive. And oddly enough, this is actually one of the things that I'm not, I wouldn't say most excited about, but I'm excited about this. So, so you get this uh, bottle. It's, I honestly don't know what brand it is. It, it's kind of similar to a Yeti. You know, it's a heavy duty insulated bottle, wide mouth, so you can drink out of it like a cup. Um, but the really cool thing about it is that it has, it says magnet pod on the bottom there. See that? 
And on the boat, there's a couple spots where you also see that logo. You got one right here, and you've got one on the cooler right here. And the way this works, it's actually a magnet. So you set it there, and it's not going anywhere. It's actually a pretty solid magnet. You can see I'm like picking up the cooler with it. Um, or you can put it right here. So what am I going to do with this thing? I'm going to make myself a drinky drink. And I'll be able to sip on that. It's a pretty big bottle. I'd say probably about a liter. Um, so I might make myself like a whiskey and coke. I can sip on that while I'm uh, fishing. Um, one thing I do wish though, I wish that you could buy like a magnet pod sticker so you could attach it to different containers. Now you can buy different containers on their website. Um, they have like a coffee cup and they have like, you know, uh, like a tumbler and, and stuff like that. Um, I think they have a bigger bottle and a smaller bottle too. But I, I think there's a lot of different ways that you could use that magnet pod if there was just like a sticker with a magnet that you could, um, you know, that you could just stick onto something. Um, I haven't checked to see if I could just take a piece of metal um, and use that. In fact, let me go find one real quick and I'm gonna see if that works because if you can do that, you can basically glue or stick a metal plate to the bottom of anything and use the magnet pot system. So let me go grab something. So here we have a big metal washer. Um, these are actually used for my uh, security camera system where you put these on the wall and then you just stick the camera on with a magnet. But let's see. Oh, it works. It'll grip it. Yeah, so that, that will work if you just want to get a uh, you know, big metal washer, um, any kind of steel little plate. You can attach it to anything and um, use the magnet pod system. So that's good to know. It is also worth mentioning that it does come with a repair kit. So if you do um, end up tearing it, you've got a repair kit right here. Um, let's see what's in it. Okay, so it looks like this is a um, uh, probably the for removing the, the valve. Um, if you have an issue with your valve. Um, and then it, it has some patch material in here that uh, comes in the color that you ordered. So I got some camo patch material and then there's some glue in there as well. So I don't know, don't smoke or work near open flames, okay? Um, so this is a polyurethane glue. Um, doesn't really have much for instructions on there. Just kind of wondering how fast this stuff would um, would cure. It doesn't really say. So I don't know if this is something you can do like while you're on the water um, or if it's something you have to do at home. Uh, so I don't, it, I have a feeling if it's a urethane glue that it's not gonna cure super fast. So you probably don't really need to carry it with you on the water because I don't think it's gonna do you much good. So the pedal drive system comes with this nifty little carrying case um, where you can strap the pedal drive to it. The pedal drive itself has a handle and then all the accessories that go with it go into the bag. So kind of handy, makes it a little easy to carry around. So let's get her off. So setting up the actual pedal drive itself is pretty straightforward, I think. I haven't read the instructions. What you're gonna do to hook this up, you take this pin out of the front here and you're gonna line it up with this little mount on the deck and then stick the pin right through and that's it. Now it can lay forward like this and when you wanna use it, you just drop it back through the hole. If you're going through some really shallow stuff, it's not going to uh, hit the bottom. And then when you want it to go in, you just pick it up and drop it right through the hole. Uh, pretty straightforward, nice and simple, um, no frills. Um, and once it's through, all you do is you just close these little latches and that'll hold it down in place. Very cool. So one thought that I'm having right now is this thing's really big. Um, and I actually, I, I don't know what the weight capacity is on it. I'll have to check on the website. But I kind of have a feeling you could easily take two people on this thing if you wanted to. Um, I'm thinking you scooch the seat forward just a little bit. You really don't even need to, but you can scooch it forward a little bit. It's going to make it a little scrunched when you're using pedal drive but if you're paddling it's definitely not gonna be an issue but the um, the second person could easily 
just pop a spot right here. Just like that. And then you could easily ride together. Um, you know, if you wanted to do something like that, a little, uh, little date night, little booze cruise, uh, could be a lot of fun. So uh, I like that a lot. I just noticed something awesome. This cooler has a bottle opener right there. So you can take your bottles, open them up. Just make sure that you take your bottles out with you. Don't throw them out in nature. That's not where they belong. But I got one more thing to show you guys. And I actually haven't played with this yet. This is the, um, can you guys see me? Yes, you can see me. This is the steering system and the, uh, for the pedal drive. So as I mentioned, this is the fin that comes with it that you can put on the bottom. So like I said, it's much smaller. Um, and then this is the mounting system with the steering cables that goes on the back. And then this is the fin that is steered by that steering system. So we're going to put this on here and then we're going to be ready to go do some fishing. All right, there we go. It ain't pretty, but it'll hold. Now, I have to attach the steering somewhere. Ah, I was wondering what that thing was for. I get it now. So there's a couple zip ties. This is really cool. This is, I mean, this is really well thought out. I think Bo did a great job at, um, at designing this because it's all so easy to put on and off. So. This steering cable, you can run it on either side, um, and it's really easy to remove. So I, I think I'm going to want it on my left side, so that my right hand is free. And there's, you, I'll show you guys on the right side here. There's this little um, mount on the side of your seat, so you can just slot this in. It looks like just like that, and there's your steering. And I think you might be able to see that string moving back and forth at the back there when I move this little lever. The last piece of the puzzle is to add the rudder, which there's two pins, again, just like the ones that attach the pedal drive. This. So this is spring loaded, so it'll automatically go in to the water and if it hits something it'll automatically lift up and then when you're traveling you can just lift it there's a bungee right here you go around it so it keeps it up like that and when you pull that off it automatically swings down into the water that's cool so and then the steering cables which are like a nylon coated string um, they go through here and we need an allen wrench for that so the pedal drive comes with a little toolkit with six different Allen keys. So just got to find the right size one. There it is. Open that up. Stick that through. And then let's make sure that this is centered. And that's pointed straight back, so we're going to get that string kind of tight and then screw that in just like that and that should in theory work I'm gonna make sure I take this toolkit with me in case that comes loose because I don't know what I'm doing all right everything's ready to go got the 360 cam Three fish rods, all my stuff, pedal drive, we're heading out that way. Alright, so maiden voyage. First thing I'm learning is this isn't made for short people. I basically have the seat as far forward as I can get it. And uh, I have to extend my legs completely to get uh, the full cycle. I'm going to try and make some more adjustments to make it a little more comfortable. But, for the most part, it's actually incredibly easy. It gets a good amount of speed, honestly. Pretty similar to 
running a trolling motor. So, I'm impressed. I just wish they had made it a little better for short people. So I did manage to adjust it a little bit so that the pedals are in a more comfortable position. And this is very manageable for me, but I gotta say, if you're short, this isn't gonna be comfortable. Um, but, I mean, I'm pretty short. I'm 5'8", 5'9", something like that. Um, so, it's not the worst thing in the world. But, uh, man, it scoots. You start pedaling, it really goes. Pretty cool. Um, I can stand up on it, no problem. Move around. I mean, you obviously do have to hold your balance a little bit. But, um, for the most part, very stable. Uh, well, I was just about to say, if you uh, are pedaling through really thick vegetation, you can kind of back pedal and um, you'll kick it off of the propeller. But as I reach back to grab the camera, I, uh, I screwed that up. Now it's all tangled up. So um, when it starts getting really thick, you kind of have to switch to paddling, old school. But this thing actually paddles really nice, so it's not that bad. That's a good bass. There you go. First fish on the new paddleboard. That was a pretty good chunky bass. Hell yeah. Since that bass got me uh, stranded on this little island, I might as well make a couple more casts. There we go, another good one. Oh my god! Ah! to the tally. Uh, paddleboard, that's the whole point of this video, right? Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Um, it's super uh, it's super stable. I can stand on it, no problem. I can walk around. Um, I definitely feel like you could um, you know, go on it with two people. I don't think it's going to be really great to like stand up and walk around with two people, but you can definitely sit on it and cruise around. Um, because I'm pretty short, I, I had to put this seat so far forward to use the pedal drive which actually leaves like a ton of space back here. You could actually have somebody sit on that cooler um, easily and, and use the pedal drive and cruise around. Um, I don't know uh, how much weight this thing can actually handle, so I don't want to say that that'll be within the weight capacity, but I think it'd be able to do it. Um, 
yeah, other than that, I mean, everything else is, is super easy to, to reach. You know, I can get my, my fishing rods. I've got this extra space back here for all my extra gear. Um, just the way this whole thing is laid out, I, I really like it. Um, and I definitely think it's going to come in real handy um, for, for duck hunting. Um, i got to go home and figure out how I'm going to do that. But I, like I said, I want to do like a layout boat thing um, where I'm basically going to like cover myself in... Uh, blind material and I'll be wearing like a leafy suit and I'll be wearing my waders and then I'm going to take this stuff you know the water hyacinth and just pick it up and cover the boat with it um, and then just lay down in it and I think it's going to work like a charm but uh, I think as far as the boat review testing goes pretty happy with that let me guys let me know if you guys have any questions and if you like these kinds of videos or if you like watching hunting and fishing uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel um, and if you're into hunting I know this is a fishing video but if you're into hunting uh, or fishing I guess we have fishing shorts uh, you can go to our merch store and um, get yourself uh, some of our merch we appreciate it, it really helps out the channel um, and with that thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys next week